Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about being a child of God. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of being a child of God is Romans chapter 8, verses 12 through 19. It says, So then, brothers, we are debtors, not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if you live after the flesh, you must die, but if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are children of God. For you didn't receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry, Abba. Father, the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified with him. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed toward us. For the creation waits with eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of being a child of God is found in John chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. It says, The true light that enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world didn't recognize him. He came to his own, and those who were his own didn't receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become God's children, to those who believe in his name, who were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. It reads, See how great a love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God. For this cause the world doesn't know us, because it didn't know him. Beloved, now we are children of God. It is not yet revealed what we will be, but we know that when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him just as he is. Everyone who has this hope set on him purifies himself, even as he is pure. Passage number 4. This is from Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. The scripture says, But when the fullness of the time came, God sent out his Son, born to a woman, born under the law, that he might redeem those who were under the law that we might receive the adoption as children. And because you are children, God sent out the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a bondservant, but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 through 29. The Bible says, For you are all children of God, through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free man, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you are Christ's, then you are Abraham's offspring and heirs according to promise. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of being a child of God, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on being a child of God. Passage number 6 is from 1 John chapter 3, verses 7 through 10. It says, Little children, let no one lead you astray. He who does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. To this end the Son of God was revealed, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever is born of God doesn't commit sin, because his seed remains in him, and he can't sin, because he is born of God. In this the children of God are revealed, and the children of the devil. Whoever doesn't do righteousness is not of God, neither is he who doesn't love his brother. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 16. The Bible says, So then, my beloved, even as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, 
work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. Do all things without complaining and arguing, that you may become blameless and harmless, children of God without defect in the middle of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you are seen as lights in the world, holding up the word of life, that I may have something to boast in the day of Christ that I didn't run in vain nor labor in vain. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of being a child of God is from 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. It reads, Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. Whoever loves the Father also loves the child who is born of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is loving God, that we keep his commandments. His commandments are not grievous. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, your faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 27. The passage states, God said, Let's make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created man in his own image. In God's image he created him, male and female he created them. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of being a child of God is from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 17 through 18. It says, Therefore, come out from among them, and be separate, says the Lord. Touch no unclean thing. I will receive you. I will be to you a father. You will be to me sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of being a child of God. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to being a child of God, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.